Well guys, did a little bit of work today. Um, actually took the case out, put her to work today. Um, changed the tires around on her. Um, original tires that actually came with her, right there. I had them on 10. I'll get to that in a minute. And then these were on the rear of the case. So I took the uh, rear tires off the case, took the rear tires off the hydro over there, put them on here, so a little bit wider and whatnot. And then took the wide wheel horse tires, or wheel horse rims with sear tires over here. Put some of that slime in them. Put some slime in these tires here. Took the little eggs off the Suburban 10. Put these monsters on there and then took the wheel horse rims, put them on the uh, hydro. So, really, if you, if you really want a wide, wide stance for your hydro, here you go, bud. I'll show you. I don't know if you guys can get a real good at this, but put it this way uh, center. Center of the tire here, which is right here. This is where the outside of the front tire is right there. So this is how much it's sticking out. I should tell you right there. Let me get myself out of picture here. Yeah, it's wide. And then this guy here, these are pretty wide on this sucker too. But definitely mean looking. I should have no traction issues now. Shouldn't. But, uh, but uh, this is the uh, hub I was telling you about, hub, or uh, Rooney. The uh, guy cut the access shaft like this off this one and put some other hub off of something and basically put it on here ran bolts through it and uh yep so um back side here is threaded so er no excuse me this is threaded, so this is this is holding this on with the bolts. Yeah, tongue twister. But uh, I took it off because it's pain in my ass. Cause I gotta have a five eight out here and eleven sixteenths on the other side. That's just a pain right in the butt to do. So uh, I had a three bolt hub laying around, so I just threw that three bolt hub on. That way, at least I can. Change out the tire quickly if I need to. Um, so far, it's holding with plugs with the uh, gorilla glue on them. And then, as you can probably see, I threw some slime in them so just to give it a little extra. Um, I need to drive these ones around because I put some slime in them. So, um, when you drive around it helps the slime everywhere so seals it all up. But um <laughs> the carburetor for the third suburban does not like me. I'll show you well it's actually not the carburetor, I should say the glass bowl. Um the uh, third Sears, and I'm not quite sure where I uh, put it. Remember if I dropped it or put it somewhere else, or no? Ah, I did. Yeah, I did drop it. Well, this guy here. I was holding it like this, had a screwdriver in my hand. Um, actually, this screwdriver right here in my hand. The old flathead. The old flathead. Anyway, so, um, yeah, it, 
basically oh, you guys can see there focus focus oh, focus focus I don't know if you can see it now but it's uh, kind of stripped out so it kind of came out and then when it came out it uh, right in between your finger there there's a little good section of meat I guess you could say uh, it went right through the meat and it's oh it's a good cut it's <laughs> Cut right through it wide as this uh, flathead. So, um, went inside and got me a uh, cotton ball, got me some gauze, wrapped the gauze, or the, put the cotton ball in, in between the two fingers there where it sliced with some. Uh, well, I did the peroxide first and then I did the backbone. Put the cotton ball on, wrapped around with. Uh, gauze and threw some duct tape to hold it on. You can see duct tape right there. But the redneck fix. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the first one don't like me, and now the second, or yeah, second one. First one bit me, don't like me. The third one was not really the tractor, but parts from the tractor don't like me and bit me in. The only one I'm surprised it hasn't bit me yet is the second one in there. But um, I'm gonna do like what Matt uh, was actually thinking about doing or going to do, I should say. Um, he's going to uh, take his starter generator off, clean everything up. Um, I think I'm gonna do that. Um, if that don't work, I'm going to have to somehow get that pulley off that one. And put the pulley on this one. I think I'm going to be able to run it with fan trode like that. So it sticks out too wide. But, uh, so yeah. Figured I'd show you guys what I update. Um, I think it's that seal that needs to be fixed. Um, the uh, bottom of the tranny, I thought it was cracked. It's just, I don't know if it's like scratch marks or what. But I thought they were cracks, but I mean, they could be cracks, but it's not leaking from them. I thought. I thought they were, but you know, it's just coming from that seal over there and then coming from up there with the uh, I think that's the, the brake. Yeah. But I know I gotta change out this fluid sooner or later, but it'll probably be more than likely later than sooner. You know what I mean? But, but uh -huh. Love these things, even though I can't chew them, I gotta suck on them and let them melt. But, uh, so, yeah, I had all sorts of tools out today laying around a seat. Um, <laughs> it lasted the only so long on the, the uh, case because <laughs> I went up here and mowed with it, and uh, it actually works. Pretty darn good, but I gotta have it low range. Because if I have it in a high range, it just it lacks a little, bit, a little bit of power. So, I'm trying to go uphill, mow, I'm trying to mow, and go uphill at the same time. So, but uh, it actually don't do too bad of a mowing. I didn't get over here because like that rock right there was actually in the yard. I threw it over there and then. I should have tossed it over farther, but, and, uh, yeah, I just didn't want to get too close. So I'll save that for a, a suburban to do, but, oh yeah, yeah, just did a little cutting here and there, mm -hmm. where all the grass is just high, I cut, but, did a little, 
cutting over here too. Trimmed, whatnot. Um, the pupper over here I already got a, a tick, so so I'm trying to keep the grass down as much as I can before, so she don't get no more ticks. So poor girl, <laughs> right on the side of her neck too. Gave her a bath, didn't even know she had it, and uh, gave her a bath and uh, freaking was washing her up and came across a lump on the side of her neck. And uh, I guess I guess it's a dog tick. I guess from what Google says, but I've never heard of such a thing. I've heard dog or you yeah, know deer ticks, but I never heard of a dog tick. But yeah, you learn something new every day. So but, yes, went on here looking to see if I had my fan in there, and actually never looked to really see if it spun or not. I'll have to uh, check that out when I drive her around. But yeah, I think that freaking thing looks like a beast with them. I think I might have to invest in a couple more. <laughs> but, I'm uh, gonna charge the battery up on here. Uh, yeah. First time I actually ever let it fully charge. And it's saying it's fully charged all the way, so we'll, uh, I got my toggle switch in. Up is on, backwards is off. Normally I don't have to have a choke on this, so. Just a little bit of gas. Here, here a little bit of gas, a little bit of throttle. Oh, I should start right up, so. Yes, it'll be closer. Oh yeah? Hmm. No? Hmm. Alrighty then. Hmm. Oh. That, uh, that confuses me. shouldn't be using this hand but it's kind of hard to video camera with one hand and also try to get something on it too so but I'm trying to keep this video a little shorter but sure kind of a pain to upload from my phone to YouTube it takes like two and a half hours Oh well.
Still running. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna cut this video short.